Alright, the next question says, why did God put a tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden if he knew what was going to happen? Yeah, God knows everything, right? And um, I'm not an apologeticist. I don't know all the answers. Didn't go to school for this. But I did read the Bible and I, you know, prayed for understanding. I asked questions. I looked up um, answers to questions that I did have. And, um, you know, I got multiple outlooks on different things. Um, I, I don't ask all the hard questions, and this is one of them that is, you know, interesting question to ask. A lot of this stuff doesn't matter, you know, as far as, like, going to heaven or hell, but it could help someone determine if they want to choose to follow God or not. You know, God, God, you know, the, the God who created, who, who, um, who, uh, gave up his only son to die for our sins, Jesus, you know, the, the, the God of the Trinity. Um, so anyway. Why did God put the tree of knowledge in the, uh, 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 in the Garden of Eden if he knew what was going to happen? I believe that God is painting a picture. He's telling a story. He He's making something known, right? He created man, but he already had angels. He had angels in heaven. They were worshiping him. Um, and two-thirds of them um, don't have the choice to um, to rebel, right? They don't have the choice to go against him. They don't have the choice to uh, praise and worship him. They were created to praise, and they do that. Most things in nature God creates, or everything in nature God creates, obeys him automatically, right? They don't have a choice. He created a being, humans, to be a little less than the angels, but also have choice, have choice to worship him or not, have choice to pray with him or not, uh, pray to him, uh, be with him, spend time with him, Give him glory, honor, praise, or not. So he chose to create human beings to be that. Um, and that's there, okay? So um, he sees the future, and in the future, we're going to get to a point, a place similar to angels, right? I mean, I think he said, he said we're going to get to a place where we're going to judge angels. Angels already not, you know, not disobeying, but I mean, at least two thirds of them. So to get to that point where we're worshiping God and, 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 and um, in revelations and all that kind of stuff, there was a picture that had to be made because he could have easily made us. And then we were all in heaven, just, you know, partying and worshiping God or at least Adam and Eve or something. Right. Adam but wouldn't even need Eve. So what happened, you know? Um, why, why, why the whole kebab and the whole kebab has to be because there's a story that needs to be told. And one part of that story that needed to be told was that human beings given the power of choice and the power of being a child of, or a creation of God, we have the option to choose good or evil, and we typically will tend to go to the side of evil in the absence of God. If we are absent from God, if we stay away from him long enough, we're going to choose the wrong thing. And that's the idea there. So why did he put the tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden? Um, I believe it was a, a, a safe sin. You know, it was a safe temptation. It's a safe um, parting, right? I mean... The consequence is still, hey, you'll surely die and stuff, right? You're going to destroy the world. Animals won't be able to talk to you or whatever was happening back then. You know, lions are going to eat lambs. But, you know, the idea there is that um, he put the tree of knowledge of good and evil there. Because if it wasn't there, there would be something else. Um, the book of Romans shares that... Uh, I believe in the first, even in the first chapter, that that um, we're making up new sins. We're we're creating new sins. We're making new atrocities, right? We're God, not everything that you know. Everything that um, God's given us, as far as the command, there are apparently sins even beyond that. We can create sins. That's crazy, right? We can make bad things happen. We have the potential, the capability. So God putting this tree of knowledge of the good, good and evil inside of the Garden of Eden is more like a restricted type of said thing. 
because if that was not there, uh, yeah, we might not we might not have knew what we were doing 100, percent but there would have been something else that would have been, you know, death worthy that we would have eventually done because we have a tendency to stray from God and also to commit evil and in fact create sin you know we make up our own sins and it's horrible and it all leads to death and destruction and this is just my opinion because I don't know 100% why but it seems like it makes the most sense that this was a guiding to a sin that or not even God God wasn't guiding us to to make the sin I mean he wants us to to follow to, to follow all of his um, laws. They only had one law, one rule. And it was that. And they broke that. But if that wasn't there, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no law in, in heaven to, to um, you know, to, to not rise up and revolt against God. You know, Satan made that up. He did that himself, right? He chose to do that. And, you know, got sent down like lightning, you know, with one third of the angels. So all I'm saying is we would have been capable of more than that or worse than that if that tree wasn't there. The tree was there. We committed that sin. We got kicked out before we can make even more crazy sins inside of that garden. And that's what I believe is a good answer to why that tree of knowledge was there. It was there because it's a picture of showing that we are capable of sinning. God could have stopped us, yeah, but that goes against the very reason why he created us, which was choice. The freedom of choice.